everyone, and welcome to our today's presentation. We are talking um, about the Hutchins School of Liberal Studies at Sonoma State University from the student's perspective. Um, my name is Amber Blightestell. My name is Erin Rose Charlton. And I'm Sabrina Myers. So just to start things off, I want to talk a little bit about what Hutchins Liberal Studies is. Um, just because it's not a typical major that you would hear about. Um, and so Hutchins was created on the ideals of Robert Maynard Hutchins and named after him, obviously, but basically his beliefs were that in order to educate students for freedom, they needed to be educated in the liberal arts. And so a liberal studies major what that means is like not liberal in the political sense, um, but liberal is in like freedom of education and liberation. So you're able to look into many different subjects. We're trained to communicate effectively orally and in writing. We develop critical thinking and problem solving skills and it allows all students to have an interdisciplinary education, which I'll talk a little bit about later. And so students with a liberal studies degree can go on to many different careers, such as human resources, journalism, teaching, counseling, social work, being a research analyst, et cetera. And these students are highly sought after because of their amazing communication and collaboration skills. So what is an interdisciplinary education? Basically, interdisciplinary means within many disciplines. So you can, we look into all different subjects within the Hutchins program. So we do liberal arts, sciences, different fields of interest. And our lower division classes cover all general education classes, except for math, just because math is a little bit hard to do in our discussion format. So we just take those outside of Hudgens. Um, we have small classes, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, it's all discussion-based and we learn from our fellow students along with the teacher. You get a variety of viewpoints from all of your fellow students and upper division classes allow you to focus in on subjects that you prefer or even subjects that teachers love to teach. So what are lower division courses like? And when I say lower division, I'm talking about the types of courses that you'll take as an underclassman in college, so as a first year or a second year student. So in a non-Hutchins Sonoma State class, you'll normally have a class size of 20 or more students, and it's usually lecture-based, which means the professor's at the front of the class, Students are all sitting taking notes while the professor lectures for the um, class period. Midterms and finals make up a large portion of your grade, if not all of your grade. So it's a very test-based way of grading. And students can meet with the professor one-on-one -on -one at office hours only, or maybe if they catch them after class. But otherwise, there's not really a time structured in for the professor to get to know the students well. In a Hutchins Sonoma State class, there's a class size of 15 students and it's seminar based, which means we read books for homework and prepare for discussion. And then in class, we discuss. To prepare for our class, we might have reading notes and our grade is made up of not only the work we do, but also our seminar participation, projects and essays. So instead of having one test that determines your grade, you have a lot of different and varied assignments. Next, one-on-one -on -one meetings between the professor and each student are built into our framework. So at least once a semester, a student will have midterm evaluations with their professor, where the professor sits down with just you as a student and goes over the body of work that you've made so far in their class, how you're doing and what your strengths are as a student, which is a really nice way to build relationships with your professors. Lastly, in upper division classes, core seminars are offered based on the expertise of professors. So basically a core seminar is just a class about 
any subject a professor really, really wants to teach or is an expert in. This includes how to write a memoir, political ecology, death and dying, studies into how time passes, really anything you can imagine can be offered as a core seminar. So what does a lower division seminar work? We've been using the word seminar a lot and we wanted to break it down further. First off, we'll talk about the content and the work you do to prepare for your class time. The content you experience in just one seminar is very interdisciplinary. As Sabrina said, it draws on multiple disciplines. And in that framework, you can look at how different subjects affect one another and how they're related. So just one seminar can include art history and museum visits, evolutionary biology, a critical approach to history, social justice, and poetry analysis. We learn about each topic by reading literature of many genres and discussing it in seminar. It could be fiction, nonfiction, poetry, graphic novels, really anything you can think of. Then throughout the seminar, students express their learning through notes, essays, poems, presentations, songs, journal entries, podcasts, and more. So if one area isn't your strength, there will be many other varied assignments. That's one thing that I as a student really enjoy about the Hutchins program. If there's an assignment that I have to work on, say making a podcast and I don't feel very good at it, I know that there'll be a lot of different assignments that look very different than making a podcast that will come up. So now we're gonna talk about what a lower division seminar looks like during class time. So this is an example of a lower division seminar class. Uh, believe it or not, the professor's in there with us. So if you can find her, congratulations. And this kind of gives you a sense of how small the class size is, how well we get to know each other, and really just what a class could look like in Hutchins. So when students arrive at class, your professor will have a general plan for what's gonna happen at your seminar. It could involve small group work, um, everyone asking their questions to each other, a lot of different things. But really it's driven by what the students bring to their seminar. Students bring reflections, questions, connections, and reactions to share about the reading during their class discussion or their seminar. Students listen to each other, react, build on each other's ideas, and often gain a really multi-dimensional understanding of the material. So you may walk in thinking you know what the reading that you just did was about and thinking you had it all covered, but you may walk out with a completely different or deeper understanding of what the author was really trying to convey. Professors only talk for about 10% of each seminar, providing context, expertise, and guidance when asked or when it would be helpful to the seminar. But other than that, it is really student driven. In the Hutchins program, there is often more discussion and debate than there are lectures from our teachers. This means that you'll read assigned materials before class, whether it be half a book, like Erin mentioned earlier, or a full book, or maybe just a few chapters. This creates a situation that is almost the opposite of what an actual traditional classroom will look like where you study the material beforehand rather than sitting through a lecture during the class. We then spend our class time with other students on the analysis um, of what we've read and of what other questions they come up with, resulting in there being a lot of reading that is done by students for homework in the Hutchins courses. If you love reading or writing, this is definitely the program for you. Once the reading is completed, you write the response and deeply reflect on what we've read and what other discussions and connections we can find from in and outside of class. Students learn to listen to other points of views, think critically, and they also learn to talk very fluently and have hold civil conversations um, on the topics that they are talking about in the classroom. This experience for me has been so awesome in that I'm not a test taker. And so being able to discuss different viewpoints and to be able to just talk about it through with my students and professors has really changed my own education experience. 
So what do connections look like in Hutchins? First off, we're going to talk about student to student connections. After spending over six hours a week engaged in discussion with the same 15 people, you form a pretty strong seminar community and a sense of trust. So a lot of times as a student, I would find myself walking up to my seminars and already knowing the atmosphere that I was going to experience that day and already feeling safe to share my viewpoints with the class. You also get to know people in multiple dimensions. You hear them talk about their past experiences, their views and values. And many people find their closest friends in Hutchins just because you're getting to know everyone so well and you're really doing it in an atmosphere that values respect and acceptance. Also, we have field trips each semester to museums, wineries, and farms, which provide built-in adventures with your Hutchins friends. Another form of connections that is common in Hutchins is student to teacher connections. Professors get to know their students really well through seminars and find each student's unique strengths as they watch them discuss for so long. Students have many opportunities to speak with their professors individually about their own or their professor's research and interests. And professors are eager to support students in pursuing anything that they're curious about. If you have something you're really interested in and you want to do an independent study on it, you'll easily find a professor to support you and be your professor mentor in your independent study. Hutchins professors support students by being mentors for internships, independent study courses, and students are sometimes invited to help professors on research. This picture actually comes from a conference in San Diego that I attended with one of my professors, Professor Hess, um, based on research that I did with her um, on a National Endowment for the Humanities grant that she received. Thank you everyone so much for listening to our presentation, but please stay tuned for just a little while longer as you can hear some testimonials from other Hutchins students in the program. Hi, my name is Riley Fiskus. I am a Track 3 Hutchins student, and one thing that I have loved about Hutchins is the amazing relationships I have been able to build with my professors and my peers. Hi, my name is Taya, and I'm in Track 2, and I'm graduating this fall, 2020. Um, the reason why I love Hutchins is because it is a smaller classroom size with a few amount of students and the professor. So you really get to build that relationship with your peers as well as building a relationship with the professor and having that one-on-one -on -one time. Another reason why I love Hutchins is because there's no test and for someone who struggles with time test, it works out perfectly with me because we get to do projects and I love projects. So that's why I love Hutchins. Hey y'all, my name is Mackenzie Howard. I am a track three student and my favorite thing about Hutchins is definitely the small class sizes. It definitely gives us that intimate education um, that you don't really get anywhere else. Hi, my name is Shannon Smith. I'm a senior and in track three. And my favorite part about Hutchins these past four years has been the small class sizes because I'm a student that gets really overwhelmed very easily, and so not having a lot of other students in the class has made me be able to focus on the relationships between me and my other classmates and really get to know my professors a lot better. Hi, my name is Jasmine Larson, and I am a current Hutchins student at Sonoma State. I started the program as a track three blended student, but starting next spring, I will be a track one student. This is gonna be the second semester of my sophomore year, and I really love the program. Some of the things I personally like about this program is how understanding and open all the teachers are, especially during what's going on right now with the pandemic. Um, another reason is because of how close of the community we all are, including all the different students and just knowing that there's other people that you can reach out to if you need anything. And yeah, I definitely would recommend joining.